There's no doubt that Ableton Live is an amazing DAW. It's probably the freshest, cleanest code on the planet. But there is something that's a bit of a flaw, if you ask me. Let's say you're ready to go to the arrange. The vocal's not there. Let's make a little more room here. So these are the tracks. They're all properly named. Now let's go to the session view and go into record. Transfer some of this stuff to the arrange. Okay, this is our recording and maybe you can see the problem I'm having here. See, it can be a bit annoying once you start arranging uh, to have everything properly named here on the tracks. See, vocals, beats, organ, bass. But not over here. These are clips that we just recorded. So what I always like to do is before I even consider starting to arrange, I go back to the session view and rename the clips themselves. So let's go do that. Beats, well, that's a group. Here's organ. Bass, and it's really a, a two minutes extra work, you know, so. Crods, makes sense. There's the vocals. Really hope that maybe in the next version they'll think of something for this, because I can understand why it works the way it does, I just don't like it. Oh no, wait, need to call this drum rack. We have a couple other sounds uh, in here too. So now if I go into the arranger record stuff, all the parts are properly named. And I think that's a real plus. Now, let me go ahead and get rid of this stuff here. Select this part. And Command D for duplicate. Works really fast in Ableton. Right, so we've got a, around five and a half minutes worth of stuff to work with. Could be a little longer. Let's, uh, let's duplicate some more, maybe. All right, six minutes should work. Let me open up all these tracks while uh, holding Option. That way they open up all together. And let's go and try to turn this into a real cool arrangement. <laughs> 